Yo guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be, we will be talking about um, tropical, tropic, um, tropical depression um, Nicholas. And yes, this is my first time doing a face reveal, guys. So, if you hit the like button if you want another face reveal. Or comment down below if you want another face reveal. If you don't, then, you know, just just put in the comments you don't want another face reveal, then, you know. But, yeah. But, anyway. Here is, um... Here is Invest... 95L Invest 96L and Tropical Depression Nicholas so and also we've got another area of interest coming off the coast of Africa which should move up towards the north because um, the high pressure system ridge we back off over here, which will push it towards the north. But anomalously low pressure is over the MDR, which will push the systems up north. It has to be high pressure here to really push these systems, you know, into the Caribbean. And I have a, I have a bad feeling about this wave here, not the one behind it, but one that's red right now. This one here. This number number one. I have a bad feeling about this one because this could become a major hurricane, as you know, as it heads towards the Bahamas or or the East Coast. But you don't know if it's going to become a major hurricane yet. You don't really know what intensity it will be. But I have a bad feeling that this might become a major hurricane. I'm not hinting that they will. But. But yeah. It could be. It could not be. So anyway. Um, that's disturbance number one. Disturbance number two has a 70% chance of formation in the next five days. Doesn't look as good as it did because it's got all that, you know, anomaly. It's got all that, um, convection to one side of its center. It says a lot of wind shit on the storm right now. Um, so yeah, Tropical Depression Necklace. Um, uh, Necklace, you know, Necklace is just dying over. I think it's stalling now, I th I, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it's stalling now. As of... 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time, Wednesday the 15th, Advisory 14. Maximum steam winds is 30 miles an hour. Mi minimum central pressure is 1,004 millibars. Located at 30.4 degrees north and 92.8 degrees west. Movement east northeast at five miles an hour. This advisory is issued by the national by the by the weather prediction center. So that means now the NHC will not update the um the store anymore until they decide for it to go post tropical, which to be honest it'll probably become post tropical about here. So it's got quite a few distance to travel. So it could become post tropical here, it could become post tropical here. Well so it's gonna become post tropical here. Or it could become post tropical before that, you don't really know. So yeah. 
Anyway, looking in the eastern Pacific, there is nothing on the horizon for the next five days. But if you go to Tropical Tibbets and you look up at Tropical Tibbets, um, to right, if you look up at Tropical Tibbets, you should. You might. I don't know. If, I have because I haven't checked the models for um for the East Pack yet, so I might check the forecast models for the East Pack. I know the West Pack is going to be active again. I don't know about the Eastern Pacific. So the East Pack um, does not look like that's going to be active. Actually, wait. By the 18th, there is a system that just try and form in this form here. But I don't think it will become a system. Obviously, I don't think that will become a system either on the 25th. To be honest, um, no, sir, the Pacific is dead. Yeah, on the 1st of October, it does actually look like we have got um, an area of vorticity here coming out from the Caribbean. But it doesn't look like we um, will see that form, to be honest. Because in October, I think we're probably going to have the uh, a uh, La Nina, so probably it will share all this region here. Plus, it will give cooler sea surface temperatures for the most if we do have a La Nina. Um, and the only favourable spots will be off the coast of Mexico, where actually big storms can actually brew off the Me off the Mexican coast. If all of this bit's below average, and all of this bit's are above average, then, you know, you can still get a significant storm anywhere here in an, in a La Nina year. But even in a El Nino year, when everything's warm apart from up here, um, you can still get a major hurricane anywhere in this bubble. And you can still get major hurricanes in the Caribbean as no, and the could be in the Gulf as well, depending how strong the wind shear is. So anyway, looking at the Atlantic, and actually, looks like on the first of October we have a system in the MDR, a system near the Azores, a system near Bermuda, and a system near, you know, um. New Newfoundland or or New Finland, whatever, and Nova Scotia. So you know the Atlantic actually becomes quite active. As you can see. Let me let me just move this out the way. So we want to what you want to do is actually this system here does kind of become a strong system. Because it is September the 15th now. So. Because it is September the 15th. This system that is here. Obviously that's it. That's the. That's Invest 91L. No, that, no that's Invest 93L. No that's. No that's Invest 93L. This is Invest 92L. No that. that yeah that's Invest 92L. Invest 93L. But then, you know, as this one does form, so it does get itself organised by, I'll say, Friday the 17th, and actually becomes a brief tropical storm. Most of the models were, wasn't hinting of a major hurricane, but now most of the models are hinting of a major hurricane. Um, do, then, okay, quickly, we can do to, you know, um, strong wind shear, but then affects the Neewood Islands as maybe a 45 mile an hour ho tropical storm. But then, moves up north, near Bermuda, you know, and that's where it really starts to gain the momentum. 
here. And obviously you get that potential system here, which probably is that system from here. You don't really know. Wait, let me have a look. We'll go back at the models. Yes, it's that system that it's on inverse 93L. And in, no, that, that from inverse 92L. And inverse 92L, as, as you can see, here is being shared a little bit, not much, it's a little bit, but then as you can see, it really starts to intensify category one status, um, then you know, category three status, 960. The 955, which is category 4, category 3 status still. 958 weakens. But then another system actually comes out. The Curse of Africa by the first. So, you know, we're still getting those back to back to back to back to back hurricanes after you see. So, does it want to pick up on that system after? Well, it does on Sunday, September 19th, 2021. So you could have anywhere, any system can form anywhere in the Atlantic. So anywhere in this zone, apart from the only places where tropical systems can't form, is... England, Iceland, um, Greenland, Norway, and all that, and anyway, I'll show you satellite imagery, Invest 96 l and it kind of doesn't look that good, kind of made a mistake, you know, I thought it was Invest 94. 3L, but I did make a mistake. Invest 93L was. Um, yeah, no, Invest 91L was Larry. Invest 92L was Mindy. Invest 93L. Yeah, you, you know, you get the point. So, I'll show you sound like imagery of Invest 95L first. That's near Africa and near the Cabo Verde Islands. Could become a brief hurricane in the... Or, you know, it could change track. It could take a turn up north. It could travel straight to the Caribbean. It could travel... Um, it, or it could even just go north now and just carry on going north. You know? So... Yeah, I guess. So, if you guys, if you do like my content, you know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm not done with the video yet. I'm probably going to, you know, do for another about five minutes, maybe. So, I'm just waiting for this to load. Yeah, I am outside, by the way. My Wi-Fi hasn't come on back yet. Now my Wi-Fi is on, it should start moving faster. So... So... The, the, like the satellite imagery wants to work. I'll, I'll show you weather nerds instead. Right, I'll show you guys weather nerds. Wait one sec. Weather nerds satellite. Yes, weather nerds satellite imagery.
We don't want Nicholas. We want that storm. As you can see, it's a sloppy mess right now. As you can see. Um, doesn't look that good. Cloud tops on. The cloud tops are alright. It's just that the wind shear is too strong for the system to to get organized a bit. As you can see, it's you know it's just that layer of thin cloud. It's not that really big thick cloud that you need. So anyway, it still looks good on satellite imagery though. I'm not gonna lie. Looks better than Invest ninety six L. So. Um, I'll show you 96L, but I'll show you Chanthu actually. Typhoon Chanthu is still a typhoon, and actually, it looked better than it did yes. It looked better than it did this morning actually, because this morning all of its convection was on this side, and its eye was. Thingy, but now it's actually came back and it actually looks like you know a typhoon but I don't know if it is a typhoon I'll have a look on the JTWC JTWC I'm not quite sure if it is a typhoon no tropical storm chance to so yeah tropical storm you know it did make a weird loop, because obviously it went like that, then went down, and then because it's gonna do that again, and it's gonna do that, so that's a weird loop. So where is it now? It's at forty-five miles an hour, right now. So it did a weird loop. So it went like that, then went back on itself like that. So that's what it's doing. So that's a weird track. That's going to be confusing for people. So. Yeah. Anyway guys. If you you know. Um, don't forget to like. Comment. Subscribe. And share. You know. Um, trying to get up to 50 subscribe, trying to get to up to 100 subscribers by January 2022. If we don't get it, then that's fine. I'm trying to, 50 subscribers, I'll release another animation. So, yeah, anyway, don't forget to have a nice day. Stay safe from this storm, because <clears throat> the GFS wants it as a major hurricane. Yeah, and I'm sure the HWR wants it as a major hurricane as well. This storm here, mm, it could become a, sub a tropical storm here, then obviously weaken here, then probably become a blue subtropical system here. You don't really know, so, you know, anything could change. The track forecast could change for this system, you know, could head towards the Caribbean, could head towards the US East Coast, could head f towards Florida and the Bahamas, could head north. And then curve like that to the Azores, you don't really know. So yeah, anyway, don't forget to like, comment, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, see you all in the next video. Peace and have a good day.